people of the Awani Valley in Yosemite National Park. What you're seeing is a shelter that is made out of the logs and sequoia that was in the area. Now, they relied on their environment for their food, clothing, and shelter. If we look over here, we can see an effect of westward expansion as you see a pioneer actually burning the shelter of the Native Americans. This is an, uh, this is a, uh, an opportunity to see some of the conflict that brewed between Native Americans and explorers. The Miwok Native Americans had a very unique uh, set of housing. The Miwok chief lived in something that looked just like this, which is known as a lodge. Now they use their environment for the food, clothing, and shelter, but especially for their shelter. As you can see, they use the lumber that they had in great excess around them because they lived in heavily wooded forests. And so that was a natural resource that they used abundantly to provide some of the essentials that they need to keep their house waterproof, but to protect them from precipitation, from snow if that were to ever occur, and from the heat. It would keep it uh, cool and then keep it regulated throughout the year to keep them comfortable. The Miwok Native Americans of Southeastern California used what is called a roundhouse. And as you can see, it's mounded. It's used out of planks from nearby uh, trees that they had in their heavily wooded forests. Now in this particular roundhouse, they would have ceremonies such as filled with dancing and celebrations and, um, and, and all the things that they celebrated their culture with in the particular Miwok Native American village. With the large amount of Americans that were migrating west, the Miwok Native Americans of Southeastern California adapted and started developing cabins that, that modeled themselves after American and European houses of that particular time in the 1850s. So they built cabins such as this with the same get-ups that were being seen in what was the 13 colonies into the early United States of America. What we have right here is called a sweat house. And what happened was the hunters of this particular tribe would catch their meat, their game, whether it be elk, whether it be deer, and then they would bring it into here and they would practically smoke the meat to dry it out so it could be used throughout the seasons and not just be used at one time, but they used it as a preservative long before Americans were thinking about these kinds of things. 